Today, David Hasselhoff arrived at this London studio. Good morning. He's a TV legend and the star of Knight Rider... Kid, open the door. ...and Baywatch. Shows that were watched by a combined audience of 5.5 billion people. Don't hassle me anymore. But how will he handle hosting his own entertainment show? Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Queen. Let's find out, as now it's time for... to the Sunday Night Project. Okay, so Tom Cruise celebrated his birthday this week. Happy birthday, Tom. And posed for photographs with his wife, Katie, to mark the occasion. I was in Paris for Fashion Week and was staying at the same hotel as Naomi Campbell. And I can tell you, one member of the hotel staff regretted telling Naomi her breath was a bit garlicky. <laughs> the Big Brother housemates have spent this week dressed up as animals, a task that Mario and Lisa especially enjoyed. David. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> you are the Hoff. Mm. You've got to be happy with that, haven't you? Well, you know how I feel about the Hoff? How? No hassle. <laughs> but you're also the Knight Rider. That's right. <laughs> I have a new Knight Rider now. Fuck him. Listen. <laughs> Well, no, there's a new Knight Rider out there. We've got to give these guys a chance. You know, they got, they got a new, uh, new producers, and, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll find their way. So it's a new Knight Rider, but is it the same car? No, no, it's a Shelby. It's a Mustang. It used to be a Trans Am. Yeah. It's not Kit? It's not Kit? I know. I didn't write it. I just brought it to NBC and said we should bring it back, and they, they kind of went that way. And... I don't even know the makes of these cars, and I'm still going, oh, what a load of shit. <laughs> a Mustang guy! It's a Trans Am. A Trans, trans Am. Trans Am is a Chevrolet. Oh, right. Yeah. right. That's Kit. <laughs> Could you imagine if Kit was voiced by Al or me? I, I, I like Al to do the voice of Kit. It would be great, you know? Turn left now, Michael. <laughs> Kit, could you butch it up a little? <laughs> imagine at some of the bars we'd turn up at, though. That'd be Yeah, cool, you're right. <laughs> Kit, that's not the bar I was expecting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If you're in the Guinness Book of Records, I think you're the most watched TV star in the world. Right. Is it something like 5.5 billion people around the world have seen you in either Knight Rider or The Watch of Bay? Yeah. <laughs> That's what they say. Goodness me. Where's the weirdest place you've been spotted? That you think, oh my God, they've even heard of the Hoff here. <laughs> the weirdest place was actually in, um, I was at a Zulu dance in South Africa. This story's gonna be fucking brilliant. And I was, sitting, I was sitting with this blonde girl that I was dating was years ago, and she said, you know, they recognize you. And I said, no, they don't. And, and they were, like, looking at me, doing, hoo, hoo, hoo. So I just said, hey, Kit, come get me. And they went, whoa! <laughs> you know, 
like ran out of the building, you know? And uh, yeah, it was like the, the Zulu warriors of South Africa actually would go into their tent with their leader and, and sit around the television set and watch Knight Rider. That's absolutely bizarre. bizarre, yeah. Should we have a quick look at what those Zulus, along with the rest of us, were watching? Sure. <laughs> Let's have a look at the iconic Knight Rider titles. <laughs> A shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Michael Knight, a young loner on a crusade to champion the the helpless, the powerless, in the world of criminals who operate above the law. The Sunday Night Riders. <laughs> I'm telling you. The Sunday Night Riders. Sunday Night Riders. Oh my you know? God. It sounds like a gay porno, but. <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you this. Did you or do you own Kit? Do you have the car? I've got the original dash oh. inside, and I've got the original nose, which was, you know, the scanner. We had nine cars come to the set every day. And the most fun was how many we could wreck. Yeah. <laughs> we used to go out and play chicken at lunch. We had one car that did skied on two wheels. And literally, when the car goes up, when it landed, what you don't see is it usually, <laughs> it usually <laughs> exploded. <laughs> and the driver would get out and go, I'll never do that again. <laughs> yeah, I did one jump. They wouldn't allow me to do the jumps. And I you did, did one. one turbo boost? Yeah, I did. What was it like? I'll never do it again. Were you naked? <laughs> I was naked. You did a naked turbo boost? Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, yes. Let's talk about America's Got Talent. Yes. Now, you know uh, Simon Cowell from years ago, don't you? I met Simon Cowell in 1993 when he was working for uh, BMG. He was... David is such a man's man. I bet it would be so cool to hang out with him. I get along quite well with both of them, actually. They're really nice people, and I really enjoy working with them. And, you know, sometimes... David is such a man's man. <laughs> it is so cool to hang out with him. Dream, can I? <laughs> so, Davis, you left Night Rider. Right. And then Baywatch comes along. Right. You're running around. <laughs> you're running around looking buff in a little pair of skimpy shorts surrounded by women <laughs> with great big jabs. Yes. Now, how did this come about? Um, uh, a miracle. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, they, um, we did the first season, and NBC canceled it. And the first season was not really the best, because it was like they, we, we, seven people were murdered in Malibu in the first month. It was like murder at Malibu Beach. And we said, no, this show is about saving lives, not taking lives. So they canceled the show, and we were able to find a way to raise all the money. And you know what? You know who invested in it was, was the UK. The yeah. UK... Oh, wow. yeah. It makes you proud, love. It makes you proud. We are a nation of pervs. 